John, um, obviously um, your team struggled a bit up front to the bat. Um, can you just talk me about you? You spent a lot of time out there. Um, can you just talk me, talk me through the conditions out there? Um, yeah, obviously uh, the wicket changed a little bit. Um, obviously expected uh, in daylight that the wicket would be a bit slower. Um, obviously the third innings played on that wicket as well, so expected it would be a little bit slower. Um, unfortunately we lost a few wickets in clumps, so it's quite difficult to sort of know when to pull the trigger um, and be aggressive. Um, so we try to take it as deep as we could and, and then obviously try and maximise the last couple of overs. Mm -hmm. Having spent um, two matches playing on the wicket now, um, is it really that much easier to bat in the second inning than the second day? I think so. Um, there is quite a big difference between daylight and floodlights. Um, just looks like the ball, especially, uh, especially against the seamers, looks like it slides on a little bit better under lights. Um, it was the fourth innings played on that wicket, so there, there still was a little bit of turn, but yeah, I mean, obviously they played really well um, and played the seamers really well, so and that probably put us under pressure. Obviously, um, is there any positives to take out of cricket? Definitely, there's always positives to take out of cricket. Um, I think the way Oli bowled uh, was uh, excellent, the way George bowled, the way we finished in the last couple of overs, um, the way we fielded, really good. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, obviously, we showed some good fight towards the back end. Um, not quite enough runs on the board, um, but good fight for us. Um, what can you just talk me through how the ball feels in your hand when from a jump to archer delivery? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we know Joff um, bowls high pace, um, and he's been bowling good pace in this competition. It's nice to see him fit and back in cricket. Um, he's exactly what world cricket needs, so. Yeah, it's, it's nice to keep to him. It's challenging. Um, it hits the gloves hard, but it's obviously lovely to have him on our team. And obviously tomorrow is another game. What can you guys do to shorten the Yeah, I mean, um, just try and stick, stick to the game plan. Um, no need to panic. Obviously, we played so beautifully in the first game. And like I said, there's a lot of positives to still draw from this game. So um, I think the thing is not to panic. Stay nice and calm. Um, you know, we won from two and we're still sitting okay and it's early doors in the competition. Um, so tomorrow try and follow the same process, follow the same game plan and hopefully we'll get a better result. Uh, Grant, um, you, you spoke about the, the difference in condition from, from day and night. Um, what's that deal score if you do back first and also, um, like, is, is the toss a major factor now if you're in I mean, the toss only really determines which order you play. It doesn't uh, determine the outcome of the game. Um, so, I mean, ideally, you'd still like to get sort of 170. Um, we were probably a few short. Had we have gotten 170, the game probably could have looked a little bit different. Um, like I said earlier, I think we w lost wickets sort of in clumps. And that probably put us under pressure in the middle overs. Um, in hindsight, had we kept a couple of wickets until the back end, you can almost maximise the four or five overs at the back um, and still get a good score. But like I said, the toss only really determines what order you play and not the, not the outcome. And then just um, your experience of the end of the period, just playing in front of a back new in these two games. Yeah, wonderful. Um, I've not played a whole lot of cricket at Newlands before this, so to come here, I mean, it's obviously such a picturesque stadium as it is, and then to see fans um, in the, you know, in the, in the stands, um, and the vibe is unbelievable, yeah. Um, I mean, we can hear it the whole, the whole game, um, and we can feel the home support, which is great. Um, yeah, hopefully fans keep on turning out. Recover, um, recover well, um, go again tomorrow, like I say, stick to the plan, um, stick to our strengths as individuals and as a team, and um, yeah, hopefully try and turn around a result tomorrow. Yeah, John, uh, obviously, yeah, there's another question. You normally take a result with the best 11. What's it like playing against some of your, your former team, or your current teammates? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's actually really cool. Um, it's obviously so nice to see them doing well as well in the competition. 
um, and to see them getting such a good opportunity as cricketers as well. So, um, yeah, I'm obviously very tough for them. I'm a very competitive person, so um, I wouldn't like one of them getting one over me. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. We'll try and catch them in Durban and, you know, turn around the, the results. So to follow up on that, um, what's it been like playing with some of the foreign players? What's that experience been like to talk with? Yeah, really cool. Um, I think that's probably the one of the main things of this competition that's so good for our domestic circuit. Um, players like myself who've not played a, a whole lot of cricket on a stage like this, so to play with uh, guys that are obviously globe trotters and a lot of internationals, um, a lot of international coaching staff as well. It's a great experience and it's great learnings for all of us. And just a quick one about the, the wicket keeping uh, position you and Ryan. I mean, um, how was that determined? Um, there was some things you got um, before the first game. Uh, wicket keeper. Yeah, um, obviously I've taken the gloves the last two games. Um, <laughs> just management uh, call, I suppose. Um, Obviously, Ryan's a fantastic keeper as well, and a fantastic cricketer. Just uh, management call. Um, uh, if you can just talk to me about um, on the court, um, we propose to back in the border and what it was like coming in earlier today. Um, yeah, it's probably slightly more a role I'm accustomed to um, coming inside the power play. I mean, I was in with the third ball, so it's probably a little bit more um, what I'm accustomed to but I do pride myself on being a cricketer that's adaptable um, you know and uh, I'm a strong believer that you know if you want to be a good player you got to do what the team needs um, so you know whatever's going to be best for the team I, I'll take that on. And then are you, um, are you all like closer so the early wicket balls you come in or um, as in the first game there was a big opening partnership and then you didn't come in early is that, is that your role determining or? Uh, management will determine that. Obviously, it falls in our uh, our game plans um, as a unit. So, um, like I say, stay adaptable as a cricketer. It's probably the best way. And just um, you, you speak about the management. Um, Ashim Amla, if you're not against yourself, has he been working with him? Calming. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's a very calm guy. Um, he's obviously got a bank of knowledge. Um, so to be able to tap into that as a sort of younger cricketer um, is really awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, he's somebody I've obviously looked up to, you know, growing up um, and watched a lot of growing up. So to be able to work with him is really cool. One more question. Speaking more broadly, um, what are your aspirations to get out of this tournament? Um, learn. Um, learn as much as I can. Obviously, it's a great opportunity, like I said, for... Uh, a lot of us domestic players to, you know, s sort of be able to show what we're capable of on a, on a world stage. Um, there's a lot of eyes on us now, which is really cool. And it's what we've been crying out for as domestic cricketers. Um, and we're sort of getting that opportunity now, and hopefully we can grab it with both hands. Cool. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Uh,